Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. Didn't do nothing special or particular or anything like that, but you know, I did have a nice weekend, I must say. Um, if you can see behind me, you can see that it's snowing. That's not rain, that's snow. I live in New England and this is what this is what goes on in New England. I don't know, my camera's kind of dark. Trying to get it somewhere to be some light. So there we go. So yeah, so it's coming down. And it's funny. It's like quarter to three. So it always, if it's going to snow in New England, it's either going to snow at night or it's going to snow when it's time for the kids to get out of school. So quarter to three, the kids start getting out of school, like 2.30, 3 o'clock, roughly around those times. And, um, you know, and on top of that, people are getting out of work. And it's just become just a disaster. So this is what we're dealing with right now. I know I have to pick up my grandkids um, about um, before five o'clock. So I'm going, heading out to a doctor's appointment. I'm just waiting for my significant other to come. And then I'm heading out to my appointment, to my doctor's appointment. And then we're gonna grab the grandkids. But um, just a little things I just wanna run down with you guys. I don't know if anybody have ever been experienced it, but have you ever been scammed? Like if you order something and you find that the company that you order from is not legit. <laughs> so I ordered um, a couple of items, clothing items back in December, probably like roughly around like the 11th around um, in December. And, you know, something that I should do and I know I should be doing it. I should always refer back to um, reviews and people's comments and just see if this company even exists and if you know have they been known to do any scamming. You know I should be I should have been checking it out due to the fact. But you know us women, some of us women, we just see a good deal and we run for it. And you know I see a couple of good deals and I ran for it and hey I got played. It was not, it was a legit company. Um, but they are investigating. Not that I'm going to get my money, not that I'm going to get the products, but it's just like I'm just saying, just be weird when you're ordering online. You know, these companies just, just randomly pop out of nowhere. And, you know, just check them out just to make sure that they're legit. Then on top of that, I had ordered um, two, two items. And now this company is legit because I did check it out and everything. It's legit to the fullest. Um... It is here in United States also, so that makes things even better. But, um, and I, I I know I never ordered from this company, but anyway, they so they had my old address, which I never ordered from this company. At least I can't remember, unless they changed their name and they just held all the um, clients that they ever dealt with in their database. So anyway, so um, I could have swore I put my new address in and unfortunately um when I looked at the delivery that was supposed to happen today it had my old address on it so that's where my package is at my old address now what are my chances of probably going over there and finding it very scarce <laughs> I try to reach out to U.S. Postal because that's where it was. That's who was delivering it, um, U.S. Postal, and that's very unfortunate <laughs> um, because you just don't get the greatest customer service or anything like that. So I'm out of that too. So I'm out of two things that I did order. I was gonna reorder the item that you know I I, I try to figure out was it my fault, but. When, and this is the second item, not the scam item, that's gone, that doesn't exist. But the, um, as far as the old address, when I went back and checked, my new address was in there. So I did give them my new address. I'm just trying to figure out how did they manage to send it to my old address as opposed to my new address. Because I know I put my new address and then, you know, that's where I wanted to go. So it's kind of hard to say who felt was it. Um, did I not check off the box for the new address? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that it went to my old address. I do. Um, I did reach out to them, and I reached out to um, the U.S. Postal, but apparently it was already delivered and it's placed in the mailbox or on a sidewalk. Who knows? <laughs> All I know, I'm out of it, and it's. It's not much of a bigger deal 
but it bothers me because I'm just saying like, what? <laughs> How did it get to my old address as opposed to my new address? And my new address is in the system. So I'm still working on that, um, trying to figure out what happened and hopefully I can get a refund or just get a new items, you know, sent to me. So that's what I was working on today and I'm trying to keep a leveled head and not be too upset about it, but I really wanted them. I really wanted the items that I ordered and I don't hate to, I hate to order it again and then they wind up tracking it down and sending it to me, but then I can always send back the other one, you know, get a refund. But I'll figure it out. I'll try to figure out what it is that I want to do or what it is I want to have done. So that's what's going on on top of the snow that you see out here um, today in my world. Um, and um, my daughter just left my house because, you know, I live across the street from where she works at. And she said, it's slippery out. And so, therefore, if anybody know, I had just recently had a knee replacement back in September of 2022 and so now like i said rain and snow especially snow is one of my biggest fear because i have fell many a times <laughs> walking in snow and it's just the fact that if i go out here today which i have to because i have an appointment and i fall that's just going to be devastating because when you fall you fall you know what i'm saying no matter if you even try to hold on to something, you so some of you, for me, I feel I still get injured because you know it's nothing that you can hold on to. When you fall, you just fall. You just for me, I just fall. So and I'm already putting that in my mind that I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall for some reason. I put it in my head. I don't know what it is, but I always put it in my head. I'm gonna fall. Watch, I'm gonna fall. And like I said, where I live at, the sidewalk is brick. So can you imagine how slippery it is? Because when it rains or snow, those bricks are very slippery. So um, that's something else I have to be cautious about. You know. So I'm thinking about what shoes or sneakers or rain boots or. Um, Totally not my Uggs, because my Uggs, they, Uggs are not good for the snow. They're not meant for the snow, unless you get the right kind of snow boots. I think Uggs do have snow boots for the snow, but they're just the regular Uggs. Um, those bad boys are dangerous. They are slippery. So um, I probably will put my rain boots on and see how things work out. Only thing about the rain boots, I, they just come up to my kneecap, and I'm going to a doctor's appointment, so I'm hoping that they don't ask me to take off my shoes, because... Rain boots are hard to come off. So, but anyway, that's what's going on in my world. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I do not mean to tamp on anybody who's having a good day. And not it's not that I'm not having a good day. I'm just a little upset about how things has went as far as two orders I had out there. And um, so I'm just going to hold off on ordering for a while and um, just keep it moving. <laughs> Keep it all moving. But anyway, everybody have a good day. If you live in New England, this is what we're dealing with, snow. And if you're not living in New England, I'm jealous. I'm hating on you because I know you're probably living somewhere where the weather's much better. But anyway, have a good day and talk to you all later. Bye.